Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast and the problem reads uh, Replace the loading system by an equivalent result and false and specify where the resultant line of action intersects the beam measured from O This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics a textbook, the 10th edition by R.C. Bella So we have a beam, a simply supported beam with a loading system and we have been asked to find the resultant force and specify where the resultant line of action intersects the beam measured from O. If you remember from our previous problems, we were finding the resultant and the couple moment at the same point. This time around, we need to move the resultant, okay, so that it intersects uh, the, the beam at a certain distance d. So let's just include that information here so that uh, it is easier. Let's assume as this as a, this is our arbitrary position. Of course, we are moving from point O going to the right. And then let's say this is result and force here. We need to calculate it. So let's say this is FR. And then this is our D. All right. Is it coinciding? So we are saying we want it to coincide this position. Um, Let's say it is somewhere there. All right. Something like that. Great. So let's say that is FR. All right. So let's write down the equation. So what we are saying is FR, the moment due to FR times this distance d from O is equal to the summation of moments about point O. FR itself, FR itself, the resultant force or say summation of forces going up as our reference in the y direction is equal to FR, which is equal to um, a minus 500 a minus 250 minus 500 this is equal to minus 1550 all right and then summation of moments about point o and clockwise being our reference this is going to be equal to negative moment 500 by 3 negative moment 215 by 6 negative moment 500 by 9 so what we have, just grab your calculator and do the calculation so that we do this work together. So we have a minus 7,500 pounds feet. This is just pounds. This negative just indicates that the direction is clockwise. Right. Um, let's now work out this, we replace this in our equation. We said FR times D is equal to summation of moments about point O. Okay. So we have what our, what is our resultant force? Our resultant force, we said, our resultant force is going to be equal to 
we have a 7500 by D. We just write 7000 minus 7000 by D equal to the summation of moments. What point O? Sorry, F R is 1000. Sorry, it is minus 1250 times D equal to the summation of moments about point O which is equal to minus 7500 and if we did our calculation we find that D is just going to be equal to what is D equal to that's 7500 divided by 150 so D is equal to 6 feet so therefore this D is equal to 6 feet and this F is equal to I mean FR is just equal to 1250 okay so this is about it really if you are to redraw this all you are saying is if you are to redraw this all you are saying is, let me use black. All you are saying is, we are just going to have a force. You have a force. Um, you have a force, and then at a distance, let me reduce this a little bit, like so. So we have this point, point O, and the dimensions from here to there, like so. So we are saying this D here, this D is equal to 6 feet, is equal to 6 feet. And then this FR here is equal to one two five zero pounds, and the whole dimension of this particular beam from O to the end, from O to the end, from here to the end, to somewhere there. This is going to be equal to uh, 12 feet. And this is really about it. This is really about it. And I hope the video is helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye-bye. And uh, see you in my next uh, screencast.